All right, time to uh, rise and shine. Uh, we are here, and I hope that you're you're up wide awake and joining us as well. So we appreciate you if you are. Thank you. Good why to see everybody. You? Wide awake is questionable. Well, you know, as long as you're... When you got, your eyelids are like... Kind yeah, you can lay there and just turn the TV on. Exactly. Yeah, that way we get the credit. Listen to your soothing voice telling yeah, well, all what you need yeah, to know. Yeah, right. Yeah, listen to my soothing voice. Yeah. No, about, better, what better way to wake up? Yeah, exactly. How about, how about what will get you out of bed is the 60s this afternoon. Yeah, that sounds like sounds I mean, good to me. Spring I'm is in. here. I am ready for it. That gets me out of bed. Yeah. Is getting ready for this nice weather. So it is cold out there to start with those clear skies to start for this morning. So bundle up. No rain, no clouds. But look at these temperatures. A lot of spots below freezing like Manassas, Dulles, and Winchester. 36 for Washington as well as in Annapolis. We will see 60s this afternoon. That'll get you ready to get outside. Uh, looking forward to that nice weather. We will see a few more clouds later in the day, but still dry. Aaron. All right, right now it's 5.30, taking a look at our on-time traffic and our Tuesday morning drive. Relatively quiet, crash 395 northbound before Duke Street cleared. Uh, right now, 270 looks good. We have a crash before the split, but because all lanes are open, no major slowdowns there. Uh, increased service for peak hours on the red line. Train 300 is 15 minutes late, 302, 10 minutes late for VRE. No mark or Amtrak delays. Wisdom over to you. 5.31 is the time right now. Time for the five things to know, and we're starting with this. Barricades set up and increased security measures are underway on Capitol Hill and in New York City in anticipation of protests as the country awaits the possible indictment of former President Donald Trump. Today, Trump has demanded supporters protest if he is arrested. The United States Capitol Police say there are no apparent threats to the Capitol, but they are prepared. A happy reunion between a dog and its owner in District Heights. The five-year-old Dotson was returned to the owner, Daisy Velasquez, after being kidnapped on March 6th. Now, she said that this was the best birthday gift for her daughter. At this time, no suspects have been arrested. And a new bill introduced in Maryland will make it possible for people convicted of some nonviolent crimes to get a job at a casino. And right now, those people have to wait seven years after the date of the offense occurred to apply for a lottery employee license. The bill passed the House of Delegates and is now headed to the Senate. And Metro plans to spend big money to try to stop fare evaders. Now, the board is, is looking to install new swinging door fare gates, which, which would make it tougher to hop over without paying a fare. Now, the cost, 35 to $40 million, and it would take about 15 months to complete. D.C. is partnering up with Capital Bike Share to bring 700 more e-bikes to the city. Now, yesterday, D.C. Mayor Mario Bowser unveiled a new bike lane downtown. And that new lane runs a mile and a half from U Street to Pennsylvania Avenue and then to the National Mall. Let's go to Montgomery County now, where public schools experience more student arrests than the last school year. That's according to a study, a safety report presented to the council last night. Fox 5's Aisha Khan is live in Rockville this morning. And Aisha, uh, not only have, have arrests gone up, but also there was a dramatic jump in the number of hate and bias incidents as well. Hey there, good morning to you, Wisdom. Yeah, you know, while those are some lingering concerns, according to this new school safety report, the calls to police overall for assistance are down. For example, in the 2021-22 school year, uh, there were more than 2,800 school service calls. So far this school year, there have been over 1,300. As far as arrests are concerned with Montgomery County Public Schools, three arrests last school year as compared to the 13 arrests made so far this school year. Now, hate and bias incidents, as you mentioned, are also up considerably. There were 100 reported bias incidents so far this year, compared to last year's full school year when there were 65. And this year, you know, February had the most incidents. Now, meanwhile, the uh, school district is working on reducing the number of suspensions and expulsions and instead uh, working towards increasing the number of incidents that get referred for restorative justice. Now, this school year, there are nine staffers who are responsible for implementing the restorative justice model for student discipline within schools. And so far, 103 schools have taken advantage of that service that has been implemented. Back to you. All right. I should come reporting. 534 is the time right now. Also in Montgomery County, police have arrested a man who they say attempted to abduct a child in Gaithersburg. Police say Jamal Germany grabbed a student waiting at a bus stop 
on Town Crest Drive and tried to pull them into a nearby apartment yesterday morning. According to investigators, students who were also waiting at that bus stop intervened and helped them to help the victim break free before all students ran onto the bus and reported what happened to school staff at Redland Middle School. I didn't think it's like safe to go to the bus stop. And I'm a little concerned about her safety. I'm thinking about moving out, but it's just crazy because these are little kids. In an email sent to families at Resnick Elementary, Redland Middle and Magruder High School, leaders applauded the quick thinking of both the students and the bus driver who helped save that child. 535 is the time right now uh, as we take a live look outside at Ooh. Fairfax, Virginia. Great. Yeah. You know what will be nice? What see the little nice? table and chair right there? Oh, yeah, I see them. Go over your lunch there today. 